Act, the Family Values Bill and Human Sexual Rights Bill. Yes, it has been passed by Parliament. At this point, it is just left with a the president, Akufado, to sign. Then it will become a law. People are talking. Things are happening. A lot of people are angry. A lot of people are happy. We'll talk about it. I'm the headless YouTuber. There's headless reactions. Alati Yanko. Now, this bill was first introduced to Parliament in 2021. And since then, they've been struggling and fighting. This is one of the bills that has really made some George popular in the past few years. He has been on BBC to argue it out. He has been on CNN to argue it out. She said, some George has been fighting for this bill. And finally, yesterday, 28 February 2024, the bill was passed in Parliament. They did the voting and the eyes won. Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2021 be taken through the third ring. Say aye. Those against, say no. Honorable members, the eyes have it. The Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2021 is read the third time and passed. An act, an act to provide for human sexual rights and family values and related matters. Now at this point, I don't know whether it was a unanimous decision or the people who wanted to vote no, no, they were discouraged by the number of eyes. Because as soon as the eyes came now, they said no, and nobody, just said nobody even said no. Just said all of them, hey! <laughs> 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 Aye. So just like that, the bill has been passed in parliament and now it is left to the signing by the president for the bill to become a law. Right now, Pandya, it is not a law. It is left to the president to sign, then to become a law. But then, after the bill was passed in parliament, Sam George spoke and he did. He was trying to, you know, say that the president has gone to say somewhere that um, LGBT will not be paid and will not happen under his watch. So now, it is time to, you know, prove that he is a man of his word and sign the thing. This is like, Guilty, guilt tripping or something. Okay, watch this video. Today, the 28th of February 2024, after three long years, we, we as sponsors, the eight of us, have, with the support of the Right Honorable Speaker and majority of the membership of the House, successfully brought a close to the third reading of the Family Values Bill and Human Sexual Rights Bill 2024. It is our hope, our prayer, and belief that President Akufuado will be a man of his words and stick to the words he spoke to the Anglican Church in the Eastern region when he said, under his watch, LGBTQ will not be established when he gave assurances to members of the clergy that he was going to ensure that anything that promoted LGBTQ will be dealt with. There is nothing that deals with LGBTQ better than this bill that has just been passed by Parliament. Now, when the news came out, a lot of people were happy, a lot of people were angry. You, you know um, where they are standing based on their emotion. And one may ask, so what power is in the bill? One of the few things in the bill is that a, um, one can go like you can go a maximum of five years for forming or funding LGBTQ groups. If you have formed LGBTQ group in Ghana or you are funding them, you are providing money for them to form it, then you might go inside for five years. Also, 10 years for anybody who is involved in LGBT advocacy campaigns aimed at children. If you are aiming it at children, trying to program children, trying to encourage children that, oh, it is okay for a man to love a man and a woman, that kind of thing. No? You can go inside for 10 years. And this one, I'm very sure that Sam George added it because of Sister Debbie, because he went to an interview and he said that one of the reasons why he's seriously fighting for the bill to be passed is because of something that Sister Debbie went to do in a certain school. Watch this video. And for those who say, why is Sam George interested in this? Yeah. I am absolutely not interested in what you do in the privacy of your bedroom. 
It's not my. It's not my business. So then why why this? Why the? It is because pe these same people have taken what is their private possession, and are bringing it into my children's classroom. Not Legon, little angels. I mentioned what happened the name there? Of the school. Not Legon. Yes, little little angels. What happened in that school? They take somebody who calls herself an influencer and a so-called social media celebrity, takes her to a school to sit with children aged eight to eleven. And tells them that it is okay for them as boys to love boys and girls. To love they girls. did that here in Ghana. Yeah, in Ghana, not label little angels. Which celebrity is that? Call uh, yourself Deborah Vanessa, whatever. Deborah the Vanessa. Medicals X, no. Yeah, I mean, that's one love uh, sister. Yes. Let's say that, yes. Yes, one love sister. That, yeah. From Virginia and Tech. Mm. She goes, and what she's doing is grooming. She told this. Yes, the video was there, and they posted it on, on Instagram. Now, the school, after the backlash, has taken the video down. Did the school seek the permission of the parents for that kind of education to be given to their children? This is, you see, these are some of the things that are making me and my blood boil. How can I pay fees for my child to go to school? Now, these people think that their whole their whole life must be defined by what should be a private moment of this when you bring your privacy into public policy i have an opinion to share so based on what you're saying there that means african mermaids 10 years 10 years <laughs> <laughs> I, african mermaids 10 years yeah but then this is you know um there are mixed emotions and mixed feelings when it comes to this thing a lot of people online i've seen a lot of uh, comments some when i will lash them i'm going to buy cane i'm going to share this is not a um a bill that is now coming to give you power to go and lash somebody because you think the person is lgbt or because you think you suspect somebody or because you catch somebody i know that a lot of people are excited about this bill just because they now can they, they have some kind of backing to go and do those kind of foolish things. We've seen it before in schools. We've seen it on the internet where people will be beating people because um, they suspect that they are LGBT. Some too because they have seen that they are fair. This is not a bill that will allow a you to go and lash somebody or beat somebody, but we know in Ghana. And that's the sad part. And that is why a lot of people are angry and a lot of people are shouting online. I really understand them. Now, the U.S. ambassador to Ghana came to tweet that I'm saddened because some of the smartest, most creative, most decent people I know are LGBT. The bill parliament passed takes away not only their basic human rights, but those of all Ghanaians because it undermines their constitutional rights to freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, and freedom of the press. It will be bad for public order and public health. If enacted, it will also hurt Ghana's international reputation and Ghana's economy. Now, this is what the a U.S. ambassador has come to say. And if you go under this tweet now, a lot of people, I don't know whether some are genuine or, you know, some are fake. But then some people are saying, please, I'm scared for my life. Please, I don't know what is coming to happen to me. Um, can you please take me to the USA? Let me seek asylum in the USA. I know the real people who are doing the LGBT, you know, they are not tweeting that. It is the boys who want to jump on it. <laughs> I, the boys who are looking for ways to leave Ghana. And they started tweeting, please, I'm scared for my life. Come and take me to the USA. I, I, I'm seeking asylum. Something like that. <laughs> but aside that, you know, some judge also came to tweet and some judge said that after three long years, we have finally passed the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Act 2024. It has been passed. Now, this is the name of the act. It is not like it is anti-LGBT, but yes, we all know what it is. I am grateful to my colleague sponsors who have waged this battle with me to a successful end. Our collective gratitude goes to our leadership and the Right Honorable Speaker for their guidance and leadership. Our values will be protected and defended so long as we have a voice for God and country. One of the Kobolo came to tweet that light off. Thought the passage of the bill will stop light off. Or unless president sign. And then Deborah Vanessa came to reply that the passage of the bill will fix the roads, build hospitals and schools, ensure that there's potable water in every community, clean all the polluted rivers, stop the lamse, provide jobs for the youth, solve the plastic pollution menace, take the kids off the streets, and also solve light off issues. LMAO.
Now that's just a sarcastic thing. She is indirectly trying to say that these are the problems that they should be focusing on. They should focus on the roads, the hospitals, the schools, the potable water, stop the lamse, stop the polluted water and stuff like that. But no, it is LGBT that they are fighting. Lydia Fawson came to say that the bill has been passed. Now all our problems will be solved. Hooray! Now these are just, you know, sarcastic comments. They are, uh, yeah, yeah. They are just sarcastic comments out there. But then let me know what you think about this bill. Do you think it's important? Or you think it's not important? Do you think looking at all the things that um, the country is facing, you know, this particular bill being passed into law is uh, uh, beneficial to Ghanaians or not? And also the way these people have fought for this bill to be passed. Are there no other things that they could have fought like this for? Like fighting to stop the lamse, fighting for um, your friends saying clean portable water, fighting for street lights, street lights, because now if you are in town, there's no street lights. Do you think the way the energy they use for this, you know, they should have channeled it or they can channel the same energy into other things? Let me know in the comment section. But for now, there, the ball is in Akufado's court. As soon as Akufado signs, then pay. And I have a feeling that he will sign it on 7th January. I have a feeling that he will sign it on 7th January, and then 7th January, he's no longer the president, and then he will leave your matter for you. I don't have to know. Let me know in the comment section. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yeah, then. Yeah,